Hello, I'm Dr. Riley, and let's take a look at the muscles of the lower leg. First thing we notice in the front is this straight muscle on the femur, so it's called the rectus femoris. If we note that we are on the medial side over here by looking at the toes, this is the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, here we have the iliopsoas, which is made of the iliacus and the psoas up above comes the iliopsoas. If we come to the inside, we have the adductor muscles that move your leg towards the midline. They become adductors. We have the gracilis, the adductor magnus, and the adductor longus. Coming back even further on this side, which is your lateral side, you have the biceps femoris. Again, it's on the femur. Over here, we have the semitendinosus, and underneath is the semimembranous. <laughs> semitendinosus, semimembranous. On the back is your calf muscle called the gastrocnemius. Underneath the gastroc is the soleus. If you take this off, you'll see the soleus underneath. The gastroc and the soleus make these long tendons that go into the calcaneus, which would be the calcaneal tendon. If we look over here on the anterior side, we find the tibia. Next to the tibia is the tibialis anterior. Next to the tibialis anterior is a muscle that extends the toes, and that would be the digitorum longus. Coming down, just follow it, and you'll see it goes right down to the digits, the digitorum longus. And then there's another one over here, right on top of the fibula, which is the fibularis longus. So again, now I'm back to the gastrocnemius with its soleus underneath. Coming on up, I have the semitendinosus and the semimembranosus. Tendinosus, membranosus, biceps femoris, I've taken off the gluteus maximus. We have the gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, piriformis, sciatic nerve. Sometimes a piriformis can spasm and cause sciatic pain as if you had a back problem. Coming down off the side, we have the iliotibial band.